Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are having a great day. I know it's been a minute, but today we're going to be doing some lip swatches and y'all know how I feel about doing lip swatches on my channel. So Maybelline came out with some nude shades in their vinyl liquid lip color. So we're going to be checking these out today. Now they came out with a total of 10 shades. We're going to be checking out six of them. So I got five of the shades that I thought would look best against my skin tone, plus one other shade that I'm just really, really intrigued about. So let's jump right into the swatches and then I will tell y'all what I think after I try out these shades. So I'm not really doing like a wear test on these today because I did that in the first video. So a lot of people love these lipsticks. They're not one of my favorites actually, but they are okay. But I'm just gonna be trying out the shades for y'all today and I'm just gonna go in the order that they have them numbered. So let's jump right into the first shade. Okay, I just had to remove my other lip gloss. So this first shade is called All Struck and this is one that I started to not buy because I think it might look kind of similar to this one, which is called Witty and this is one of the original shades so you guys can see how similar the um, packaging is because the color of the packaging is supposed to match the shade so you're supposed to shake these up really well and let me just show you all how they look up against each other so we can see how similar they are so they are different but they do have some similarities so this one over here is witty that's one of the original shades and then this one over here is the one we're about to try out that's all struck Okay, so that's what one layer of Awestruck looks like, and I really like this. This is definitely going to be one of my favorites. I'm going to let this sit for a couple seconds, and then I'm going to build it up with one more layer. Definitely a really pretty everyday shade for me. So again, this one is called Awestruck. So this next shade is called Peppy. I think this is gonna be one of my least favorites, but I wanted to try it because it is more of like a, a warmer shade. And for those of you who are familiar with the kinds of shades that I like, I tend to go cooler, but I wanted to try this one out. So again, this one is Peppy. It's actually not bad. It looks a bit more pink than I was expecting, but let me build this one up too with another layer. It is definitely warmer than the first shade that we tried out, but it's not like as warm as I thought. So I do actually like this one. This next one is called Punchy, and I think this is gonna be another uh, nice everyday everyday shade for me like a nice brown nude shade uh, I think I was wrong <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one It's okay. I think I would wear this with a lip liner, but it's definitely my least favorite so far, but let me add another layer. I don't like this one. Let me know what y'all think. Again, this is punchy. This next one is called Extra. I do think I'm going to like this one. It looks like it's going to be a nice red shade for fall. So that's what it looks like on the applicator. A warmer shade, but I do think I'm going to like it. This color does look like a typical like fall color to me. I think it's pretty. Let me put on one more layer. I do like that. This one is, what is it called? Extra. This next shade is called Fearless and I think this is gonna be a really nice vampy fall shade. The one thing about these vampy shades is that sometimes they are a, a bit more difficult to apply because they do tend to streak. So this one did streak just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. But let me put on one more layer. It's 
so I do like this so again this one is fearless it's not an everyday shade for me but I would definitely wear this if I were going to like a special event or something like that so the last shade that we're trying out I'm really curious to see how this is going to look on me so it's going to be like a little bit deeper than this one this one is called charged and it looks like a really super deep like brownish purple shade and I just really wanted to see like how this would look up against my skin tone Okay, so again, these deeper shades, they're a bit more difficult for me to apply because they streak, but it looks a lot more purple than it does brown. Like I was expecting kind of like an even mix of both, but I feel like I'm seeing a purple shade, not so much brown. So I think this is a nice shade. I don't know if I would try this one out again because it's just really hard to apply. Like it's a little patchy. I'm just gonna see if I can build it up right on this side. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try not to push my lips together to prevent it from patching up even further. So again, this one is called Charged. I do really like it, but I feel like I have to put on like a good three layers so that it won't look patchy, but let me know what y'all think. So I decided to go back to this shade. This one is Fearless, and I think this one is actually my favorite. I usually go for like those more like new, like everyday shades, but I really, really like this one. I actually have to go to an event later today, and I think I'm gonna wear this one at that event. So let me know in the comments what your favorite and what your least favorite was. I don't even remember which one I said was my least favorite. I think it was the shade Punchy, but I have to go back and um, figure that out when I edit. But it was the one that I said that I would have to wear a lip liner with it. But let me know what your favorite and what your least favorite was. So like I said earlier, they do come in a total of 10 shades. So I'll see if I can get a picture of all of the shades. These are the ones that I wanted to try out for y'all today. Now I got mine at Ulta for $12.99 each and it looks like as of today, they're only available for platinum members. So eventually they will be available for everyone. And then when they become available in other stores like Walmart and um, Target they're obviously going to be a little bit cheaper than the Ulta price for $12.99 and they will be available on um, Amazon at some point too so I hope that y'all enjoyed the video today if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye